friends. Happy Wednesday. It is Wellness Wednesday and my title's a little catchy. She's a bee and so are you. And so I am swearing there on Facebook about the menopause fairy. So being that Monday kicked off International Women's Day, I thought I might as well stick with a female theme and let's just dish today on the menopause fairy and how she wreaks havoc on our lives and on our health. I am coming at you shiny. I was hustling this morning in a mask. It's kind of humid out, losing my curls. Anyway, you'll take me any way you can get me, right? So the menopause fairy, menopause between 45 to 55, my generation, we are experiencing premenopause symptoms earlier than ever. We can blame our food supply. We can blame our environmental pollutions. We can look at that when it comes to being premenopausal before we hit 45 to 55. So I know I had my first premenopausal symptoms starting at 39, and premenopause starts 10 years before menopause. So I am praying to the menopause fairy that if I started premenopause at 39, that I am done with this crap by 49 and living a good life in my 50s without all of these concerns and troubles. Hey, Stace, how are you? So this menopause fairy, she steals your figure. She steals your sleep. Next, your mood, patience, eyesight, and finally, she eats your brain. She leaves you with a mustache, muffin top, hot flashes, itchy skin, and an endless need for naps, coffee, wine, and carbs. What a bee. Do we like her? Heck no, but she is a part of life and there are remedies. So my takeaway for you today is know that you do not have to suffer. Okay, this does happen to us because of hormones. They become imbalanced. There's some things we can do, but know that you do not have to suffer for 10 years through menopause. I have remedies for that mustache, remedies for that memory concern, soothe that skin, cool off your body for those hot flashes, help you to sleep, give you some energy, um, I'm going to be dead honest with you when it comes to weight loss. My clientele, when they are right about 50, those first couple years and they're 50, and they're coming to me for weight loss, I do, I, I, I'm very honest, and they have to be next to perfect, if not perfect, to get their body to budge. It is not fair, but that damn menopause fairy has sabotaged their best efforts hormonally. So we work hard and we do, we have to pull out all the stops. We have to look at gut health. We have to look at the liver. The liver has a big job of modulating those hormones. So anything that's causing irritation, anything that's in the way, it has to go for that body to move. So 50 is right where that's at, but sometimes sooner, because like I said, my generation is experiencing premenopause earlier than ever. So if you've been struggling with weight loss in your 30s or 40s, you could be premenopausal and it's not your fault. Despite your best efforts, that weight will not budge. It's hormonal and you might have to be next to perfect to get it to move. So happy to talk with you about that. Um, the definition that when you're through it is that you do not have a period for 12 months. So some of you ladies out there, you're six months in without a cycle. Ah, you're halfway there. I hope it does not restart for you. But you can get your... Um, hormones tested. You can know if you're estrogen dominant, if you're progesterone deficient. You can get it tested and the medical community can tell you where you are in menopause, the beginning, the middle, towards the end. You can find that out. 
I myself do a questionnaire we can work through together to assess your hormone balance as well based on the symptoms that you're having. So we can work through that if we want to. Know that 80 to 90% of women do flash. Those hot flashes, 80 to 90% up to 15 times a day. Hi, Sandy. Things that make those worse, caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, nicotine. You may wanna get a cool pillow. It helps if you can get down to your ideal weight. It helps if you can hydrate. I bring in some essential oils to cool off the body and balance hormones. Um, there's herbs that support that cooling off. So one's called flashies. We add in some extra vitamin E and that is very helpful for my for my women that are struggling with this. Um, we need to start addressing your bones. So the strength of your muscle and the strength of your bones needs to start to be addressed as well. And herbs for heart health and energy. So fancy word, sarcopenia. It just means the loss of muscle and bone, and it naturally starts occurring at the age of 45. By age 60, you will have lost upwards of 15% of bone mass, another 15% of muscle mass. That means if you weighed 150 at 30, and you still weigh 150 at 60, you've actually replaced almost 20 pounds of bone and muscle with fat and that's why you may look different. The recipe for the sarcopenia is low exercise, low protein. So you need to focus on adequate amounts of good lean protein and you need to agree to start moving that body. If you do not exercise, you will lose 1% of your muscle mass every year going forward. Then, flipping the page in my book here, I want to talk a little bit today about basal metabolic rate. Let's fight this dang menopause fairy to the best of our ability. And our basal metabolic rate is the gift that keeps on giving. So it accounts for about 60 to 75% of the calories you burn every day. So that 25 to 30% that your BMR is not burning for you, you have to move your body to burn those calories. Now, as you age, you lose zero to 3% every year after 30. So every year after 30, your BMR comes down and you're not burning that 60 to 75% anymore. So you have to move your body even more and maybe agree to or commit to doing some strength training. Um, if you struggle with weight issues, it's always a good idea to get your thyroid checked. An underactive thyroid is common, especially in women near or after menopause. Um, men, I'm going to throw them under the bus. I like to do that. Men tend to average five to 10% higher BMR than women. So every time I have a couple in the same house, you know, both trying to lose weight, that man just, you know, goes from eating a whole pizza to half a pizza and the weight just falls off. The woman, not so much. We have these hormonal factors in the way. We have a lower BMR than the men do. We're built different, we're made different, and we have to look at things differently. So this is not for you to get discouraged. There is work to be done and you can do the work and you also need to give yourself some grace, okay? You have to get through this phase of life and be comfortable maybe where you are or be next to perfect to move yourself forward. But, you know, I had someone share with me you know, at her age and with her plateau, if she eats Snickers and pizza, she can't lose a pound. If she eats super clean, she can't lose a pound. What is this girl to do? Balance those hormones. Stay eating clean. You will get through this. And when you're on the other side, your body will get through it faster because it's healthy and it's not sabotaged by all that sugar and carbs and junk that makes things worse. So even though you just feel like there's no spark there, there's no um, shift, 
It's happening on the inside. It's just a game of patience and commitment. If you wanna talk some more about menopause, you are welcome to hit me up in Messenger and screw that menopause fairy, what a bee.